Welcome to All About Slide Transitions in PowerPoint. I'm Les Carter from Power Up Training, where my decades of experience becomes your expertise for free. PowerPoint slide transitions is usually the last finishing touch you add to your presentation before giving in front of a group or online. The concept is to add some subtle hints to the upcoming slide, such as this fade transition. It's barred from the world of cinema, where the goal is to avoid jolting changes that come from one shot to the next, like this abruptness of flash. We want your audience to be aware that the slide contents are changing, but typically in a subtle fashion, like this wipe transition. Although there are times that you do want your audience to know that something big is coming up, and that's when you use a change like fracture. Or maybe a little less jarring, such as changing slide presenters with a more dramatic but not too startling change, such as this, the honeycomb transition. Once done with this tutorial, you're going to know all the ins and outs of the PowerPoint slide transitions. See the topics covered below. The special effect of transitions is applied at the individual slide level and it introduces the slide. So if you apply a transition, then it will impact the entrance. See, we have four slides displayed here. And if we put a fade transition on the second slide, then it will impact it when it's its turn inside the show. See how it fades in when the slide is introduced? So let's get into PowerPoint and let's do it. We're working on the latest version of Office 365 on Windows and all the commands work the same going back to PowerPoint 2013 for Windows. And on the Mac, there's just one keyboard difference that I will highlight when the time comes. I have a sample slide deck to work from, so let's add a transition. Go to the transition ribbon menu and select the slide you want to add the entrance effect and choose. I'm selecting cover as it's an obvious change for us to see. Once the cover transition effect is clicked, you will see a preview on the working canvas. Remember, this effect is applied as the slide is introduced during our slideshow. Let's run through the slideshow by clicking the quick launch icon at the top of our screen. Here's our first slide and there's no transition coming in here, nor is there a transition for the second slide, but watch the third slide as it slides in. As we go to the fourth slide, we have no transition, so the exit does not show anything other than just the slide popping up. So we just completed our quick tour. I do need to point out that PowerPoint transitions are designed for live presentations and have an elegance about them that will be lost in YouTube tutorials like this and more relevantly on presentations done online through Zoom or Microsoft meetings or other tools. The effects lose some of their punch while given online. Now, let's look at a useful tool called Preview. One click and it previews the effect of the slide on the screen without the need of going through the slideshow. Watch as I click. Let me replay that and note that on our canvas, it quickly displays the previous slide to demonstrate the full effect of the preview. Even without clicking preview, PowerPoint will do an initial auto preview when choosing a new transition, such as this crazier curtains. This is not a choice I would make for a professional boardroom presentation, but it is obvious even here on YouTube. Let's go ahead and see this in a full-blown presentation. I'll do the slideshow icon. There's our first slide with no transition. Here comes our first transition with the curtains and you can see it pop up. It pauses for a second and then continues on. And the next one is just a jump on the screen. There's no transition. We're getting the hang of this. So let's jump to a slide deeper into our slide deck and explore our transition effect choices by clicking the upside down arrow to expand out the options. PowerPoint has organized the special effects into three groups. Subtle, which is mostly safe for professional presentations, but in my opinion, not all of them. And then the exciting, which more often than not can become cheesy. And then the dynamic content, which surprisingly is useful in almost all types of presentations. 
note that we here at Power Up Training do have a follow-up tutorial on selecting the best of transitions to help you identify what works in a variety of scenarios. Let's demo the subtle push. Note, if you hover your mouse over the effect, PowerPoint will give you a clue of what the effect will do. Once clicked, it provides the instant auto preview. And if we wish, we can click the preview tool to see it again. But if we want to see it in the slideshow, we'd have to fast forward through 18 slides to get to this specific slide, number 19. So here's a pro trick. On the bottom right corner is a small screen icon that will launch the slideshow at the currently selected slide. But when I do, note, that is transitioning from an empty blank screen. So the extra trick is to go to the slide before and then do the quick show launch icon trick. And then we're able to see the slideshow from the previous slide. And when we click, we see the preview of the push effect. Let's look at some other pro tips. Visual indicators of what does and does not have a transition applied. Look to the far left of the thumbnail and you'll see slide 19 does have an effect as indicated by the flying star. And when 19 is selected, you see the transition of push is shown up above. When I click on slide 18, you see no indicator and the highlight transition is none, which means if I select 19, I can actually erase this transition by going up there and clicking none. Up to this point, when working on adding effects one by one. But we've got a big presentation to format, so let's change from our normal standard view to the slide sorter by going to the bottom right-hand corner and clicking the slide sorter view icon. This will show all of our slides as thumbnails on one canvas, and we can still see the little flying stars to indicate which ones have transitions and which ones do not. So at this high level view, let's see about adding transitions to multiple slides. We can go in there and we can select any slide that we wish. We could choose a very specific effect. And now if we so desire, we can apply them to all the slides with a single click by looking on the top right hand corner. So with slide 19 selected, and it doesn't matter which slide, this particular one has the push effect. I then go up there and I choose apply to all and bingo, all of the slides now have the exact same transition effect. And there's advantage to that because it brings a consistency to our whole presentation show. And once I launch the slideshow from slide one, we see that we now have a consistent push of the slide one after another, so that they tie in as a single story. I like consistency for my professional presentations. And yes, I did say consistency three times. You do not want your transitions to be the star of the show. It should be the slides. So transition effects should fade into the background unless you want specific slides to jump out. So let's see how we can select a subset of slides using PowerPoint mouse and keyboard techniques. And yes, we do have a dedicated tutorial that you can view as listed above. So let's add some special transition effects to our dessert slides. We click on the first one and you'll see that it's selected because there's a red border. Now, if we wanna select a group that are in consecutive order, you go to the very last slide, hold down your shift key and then click here. We'll click on the macaroons and we'll see that all three slides were selected and we can then apply a consistent new transition. In addition to the red border, you'll see that all three numbers, 17, 18, 19, are also red. When I click on the reveal effect, you'll also see a preview impact all three slides. The last choice has to do when you want to select a collection of slides that are not side by side. And the way you do this is you click on the very first slide and then you hold down the control key on your keyboard to click each of the other slides. If you're working on a Mac, this is the difference because you're going to hold down your command key instead.
To wrap up, let's sample a few of the transitions. Remember, we have a full tutorial about the best of transitions in our YouTube channel, so do subscribe. I did warn you about using the exciting category of transitions, because some of them are just wacky. For example, when I click on curtains, it's like, oh my, no, that's going to get tiring really, really quick. On the other hand, the peel off might be okay for a half a dozen slides, but I wouldn't apply it to a very long presentation because the effects would get dull. Checkerboard might work for a medium large presentation, but once again, it's a little too busy for my taste. But if you want crazy, then there's origami. That's too over the top for my taste. Curiously, the last row of dynamic content might seem like it would be over the top, but I do find these have some classy choices that are not just moving slides in and out, but transforming the slides with a dynamic look. The choice of pan makes it appear as if it is one continuous roll of paper. The Ferris wheel is a little too dizzying for me, but it might be okay. And conveyor brings the slides in from side to side like a conveyor belt. This brings us to the end of our tutorial on transitions. There is a follow-up advanced tutorial on transitions where we focus on modifying the effects, plus changing the timing, adding sound and automation, plus some advanced tips not found on the menu. There you go. You're now ready to turn your presentations into a cinematic theme slideshow with the right transition at the right time. If this was useful, then like it and share it with your coworkers and friends. Do leave your ideas and questions below in the comments section of YouTube. Subscribe as that encourages me to make more free tutorials for you. And look for our complete series of additional transition tutorials, including advanced topics, a list of our top 10 built-in transitions, and even more that can be found in our YouTube transition playlist. If you want a complete PowerPoint training school, visit our free website at power-up.training for everything about PowerPoint. Until the next time, go power up.